All right, morning everybody. See I'm out. I'm out on my own today. Found a wolf out in this, dancing all over the field. Um, first February. First month of this month. Right, I've only been here ten minutes. Walk from the gate up straight up here. Uh, I've done a couple of bits of crap up down there. Uh, for me though, I've just had this. Thought it was a one pence. It's all looked a bit closer. Uh, you can see it's a Georgia third. Uh, farthing by the looks of it. And it's got quite a bit of detail on it. So that's quite a quite a surprise. I was expecting it to be a one p. So that's pretty cool. Like that. So uh, yeah, let's carry on around here. I don't know why they fenced this off since the last time I come, but maybe it was just to keep the sheep or something up to one end, I don't know. I know they can build a road from that gate there all the way up to the lake. So when they start taking that scraping off, I shall be on there. Right, sorry about the wind, if, there, if there's any wind. Right, let's carry on. Get a picture of this and then uh, we'll crack on. See you in a minute. Hey look guys, uh, still at it. I'm just up on the top of this uh, hill at the moment. Uh, I've been head over and sort of feel that. Um, I think I've got another queen just here. Just let the soil out. I haven't touched it yet. I don't even know. It might be a button for all I know. So, came up as an 8.44 on, uh, on the track. And, oh, well. Looks like George third. Oh, Penny. I don't think there's much on it. Might be able to see Britannia on the back a little bit, but uh, anyway. Yeah, it looks like George third. The small bust. Okay, carry on. We stay around here. Might be a little George third, silver or something around here. Be nice. Alright. Any sale would be nice to be honest. Right, I'm getting a little bit cold, but I'm alright, I'm gonna carry on. Right. See you in a bit. Right everybody, back again. Uh, you can see where I just have to walk from up there, it was a guy can come around here. And then I walked all the way over to the edge. You can see my trail coming back now. So the target here now. And I think, believe it or not, well I've got a trail of it, but I think it might be a bullhead. Give me a second. I've not even looked at it yet, it's still stuck in the quad. I can just see the bottom of somebody's neck. So uh, I'll be opening this same time as you. It's very thin. So let me find this here, let's have a look. Yeah, looks like a bullhead. Sixpence. I can't believe that. So, look at that. Very worn. In fact, it's smooth that side, but I don't care. That's what I wanted. Okay, then. I can actually see the date at the bottom. So that's uh, 18... 1818 is it? Yeah, 10. Uh, fourth silver for the year so far. Uh, Seems there's no more detail on it, but... Anyway. Get in. Get in. Right, we can keep going up this way now. Got a few George III silvers off this field now. So, uh, there you go, Dad's Tonks, that's how you find them. <laughs> right, let's carry on. I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys. Uh, yep, yeah, still going. Uh, just had a nice little button. Looks like it's got some kind of fox or wolf's head on it. Wolf's face. But obviously it's falling bits, so... Uh, 
Maybe a bit of copper light, but I just thought uh, it was interesting. I don't normally film buttons. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Right. Carry on. Okay guys, excuse the wind. Sorry about that, I can't do nothing about it. Alright. Uh, just from there, that's where I had the button from a minute ago. Just from there. From there I've just had a uh, big 5P. I didn't film it, it's not worth filming. Worth a second. Uh, I've got a lot of foot here. Just had uh, another George Flavin by the looks of it. Same, I've got the same size as the first coin I had. When I came in. Sorry about my sniffles as well. So, yeah, it's exactly the same size. So I'm guessing it's just a worn, another worn George Flavin. But you can see a bit of an head on it. Two George third farthings today. Okay. We better carry on. Might be some more snow around here. Let's crack on then. See you in a bit. Okay everybody. Uh suffering from a bit of snow blindness at the moment. <laughs> anyway, got a nice target here now. Uh signal, so to say. And uh On my head. Right, um, looks like some kind of cat badge. Uh -oh. Let's let these go past them then. Right, uh, yeah, looks like some kind of old cat badge, probably World War II, Lincoln. Don't know if that's some kind of regiment. Lincoln Regiment, Lincolnshire, I don't know. Well, I'm assuming that's what it is anyway, off a cat badge, shoulder, something like that. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, let's carry on. <laughs> I'm just heading back slowly down, back down to the car now. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Hi guys, uh, so I've just got the Lincoln cat badge on. Uh, I've just come from, what, five feet away. And I've just pulled out a uh, musket wall. Uh, it's quite a big one, actually. I've not had a lot of musket balls out here, to be honest. They're quite rare in this field, I think. So, yeah, there you go. Obviously, somebody got shot with a musket ball from the Lincoln Regiment. <laughs> right, sorry about the wind. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, everybody, just still heading back to the car now. Uh, it's a bit boggy down here. Uh, just sort of bouncing signal here. Oh, deep. Uh, Edward Seventh Penny. Hold on. There you go, there you see him now. Edward Seventh. In 1905. Penny. A bit cruddy like, but more or less near the surface, that. So, uh, yeah. Don't worry about this, he's uh, plowing this over sometime early this year, he says. Right, there you go. Still haven't had one of his silvers yet. He's holding out on me. I've had bloody hundreds of different ones and kings and queens and god knows what. I've never had a silver of his. Mandy has, but I haven't. Anyway, right. I'll see you at the next one if there is one. See you back.